What's up everybody? CL Liquid here. I'm about to hit you up with a review of the Moto X Pure Edition running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. And yes, it is No Shade November. What's up everybody? Alright, I'm going to do a quick little review here of my Moto X Pure Edition running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Now, I just installed this about 24 hours ago, give or take. So, I've been playing around with it for a little while and kind of getting the hang of it. But I like it so far, so I thought I'd do a quick little video to let you guys see it for you Moto X Pure owners out there waiting on the update. So um, I think we'll start by jumping into the settings. As you can see here, about phone, Android version 6.0. We are running. Um, so it's not too much different here from Lollipop in the settings. I mean, your normal stuff here as far as wireless and networks, um, NFC, blah, 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 nothing real different there um, jump back out now I am running Nova launcher that's my preferred launcher um, I have Nova launcher prime but obviously you can use whatever you want just thought I'd mention that so you'll know what I'm running here um, jump into display options nothing really different here either as far as Display options, everything's pretty much the same as on Lollipop. Um, jumping into sound and notifications. Here you have your normal settings for all your different volumes. Nothing really different there. Um, other sounds. Same old, same old. So we'll jump back out of here. Um, apps, blah, blah, blah. So this is a little different here, the storage and USB. This is actually, I have the 16 gigabyte version of this phone, but I have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in here currently. Uh, I have a 64 gigabyte that I'm gonna throw in here later, but for right now, I'm just using the 32 just to um, try this out. Now, when you first put your micro SD card in, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna use this as a external uh, storage or do you want to use it as an internal storage card which means basically for the external it'll work just like uh, they always work like for a normal USB say you put music or videos or something onto your micro SD card you take it out of the phone and you put it into your micro SD card reader slap it in USB slot on your computer and you can pull the files off or copy files onto it just like you normally would but with the internal storage option, you can actually use your micro SD card as add-on storage to your internal storage. What it does is basically formats this micro SD card so it only works with this phone. So once you take this out of the phone and you plug it into your computer, it's not going to recognize it because it's only formatted for this phone. So when you install things, see how this says? The storage here, total storage used is 45.24 gigabyte. No, I'm sorry. 16.24 gigabyte of total 45.24 gigabyte. So basically it's using that SD card as just a whole storage option altogether. Now you can still go in here and see what's on your micro SD card but just like before you know to show you everything now one thing I recommend is I'm sure you all know get a fast writing micro SD card get something with the fastest write speed you can find that you can afford because it's going to make a difference when the phone's trying to access things from the micro SD card Obviously, the faster it can write, the faster the things are going to load up and faster things are going to copy to it or what have you. So, keep that in mind. 
but I do like that feature. I went ahead and formatted mine to only work with this phone because like I said, I have the 16 gigabyte version. So, um, all right, so what else is different here? Um, battery, of course you have the doze mode, which everyone's been talking about. Uh, you go up here to your three dot settings icon and you'll see there's now a battery optimization option. Click on that. This will show you by default what's not optimized, which is your Motorola notifications and you know Google Play services. Uh, uh, click on that. Go to all apps, and here you'll see it's optimizing battery use for all of these apps. Now this is something that's sorry, didn't mean to go out of that. This is something that will take a while because it has to learn the patterns of your phone when it's off or when the screen's off of which apps are doing things in the background and what it's accessing and what's using battery so this will take you know probably a couple of days maybe even a week for it to learn your phone and how the apps are running on it so it knows what to you know power down when your phone's not in use and save you battery so I'm a, since I've only had this for running this for 24 hours or so hasn't really showed me any uh, difference yet and I do notice it when my phone's off it does hold battery a little better but it's not up to the full potential yet because I have only been using it for just uh, one day but I think that's going to be good I mean the battery on this is so so I mean it's average at best on this phone if you're a Moto X Pure owner I think you already know that on Lollipop it wasn't exactly I mean you could turn off things here like the Moto display and all that to save a little battery it was you know a little better with that but I mean why get this phone and then turn off some of the best features of it I mean that's stupid but to each his own um see what else we have here memory I mean that's pretty much the same as before it's a little different look to it um, you know you can see three hours out what's been using the most battery for the last three hours or you can go all the way up to a full day and see what's used the most um, sorry not battery but memory during that day and I'd say Android OS is probably going to be the top runner most of the time because that's pretty much what's running all the time and it always needs memory to run everything on your phone so let's get out of that um, users same tap and pay same location nothing different about that accounts now this Google I can't really remember if this was in there before I'd have to look at my other phone but I don't think it was actually in the settings correct me if I'm wrong but it's now here instead of going into a separate Google settings app that used to be in the app drawer now you can I guess scroll down here and find it I mean I don't really go into the Google settings very often other than when I'm first setting up a phone to go in and you know turn on um, okay Google under search and now but other than that I mean it's there um, the rest of it language and input same Motorola privacy, back on reset, blah blah blah, Motorola ID. I mean, yeah, this is all the same. Um, I would recommend um, while you're in here, go to About Phone, scroll down, click on Build Number until it says Developer Options Unlocked. I think most of you probably already know how to do that by now, but if you don't, that's how you turn these developer options on here. And once you have your developer options on, you want to go in here, turn on USB debugging. But the important thing is to scroll down until you see these animation settings here. Now these are going to be set by default at 1x, which shows you the animations to, I guess, highlight the look of the OS and everything the way Google wants you to see it. But... Well, that's great. It also kind of 
slows down your phone. I mean, the phones nowadays are so powerful, you don't want to purposely you know, bog them down. You want to get the full potential. So what I do and what I recommend is you go in here and change it from 1x to 0.5x speed. And that way everything is you know, blazingly fast. You're getting the full power of your phone, which your phone can handle it. I mean, you could actually go in here if you want and just turn the animations off. But, you know, that's totally up to you. If you really want to go all out speed and you don't care about animations of opening and closing of the apps and, you know, fancy circle closings, then, you know, turn it off. It's up to you. But I do recommend doing that as soon as you upgrade if that option is available. All right, so pretty much it for the settings. Let's jump back out. Um, everything else um, you have under the pull down do not disturb is probably the only thing different there uh, you've always had the priority only mode in lollipop 5.1.1 but now they've added two others in here and it's kind of a different look as far as priority you already know you know you can set a set time or you can do until this is off, or sorry, until you turn this off. And then you also have an alarms only mode, which blocks all you know, dings and alerts and everything while you're sleeping if you want. And it'll only um, sound your alarm in the morning for when you get up for work or whatever. So that's a nice option. That's pretty much probably the one that I will use the most. Um, Actually, I have it turned on right now just to so you don't hear a lot of dings while I'm doing this video. But you also have a total silence, which literally turns off everything, as it says here, blocks all sounds and vibrations, including from alarms, music, videos, and games. And uh, you'll still be able to make phone calls. But if you don't want to hear anything, you don't care about an alarm, you ain't getting up in the morning, go to work, then turn that on and you're good to go. But that's the only thing pretty much new under the pull down. Um, yeah, I mean, let's jump into here so I can show you. Let's see. What do I have here? Let's jump over to Amazon. I mean, it seems to run pretty smooth. I mean, every now and then in an app, I will see a little stuttering. But it's hard to really pinpoint whether it's the app itself that's not optimized and it's kind of stuttering or if it's because of the OS I mean it's just something that you can't really tell um, like Fandango it, it's got a lot of pictures and stuff in it so it can be slow no I do not want to see that um, well while I'm in here let me show this uh, of course everybody's heard of the now on tap so like in here one thing I have discovered I didn't know this before but now on tap doesn't search the entire page it literally searches what you see on the screen so like you can see here let's scroll up until I have the Carol movie all the way down to Kingdom of Shadows so if I hold down here bring up now on tap and it shows you things about those movies all the way down to Legend, which are the movies that are on screen that it found information for. Now, if I scroll on up until this is a whole new list of movies here, and then hold down now on tap, you'll see it no longer shows the previous movies that are now off the screen. It shows the ones that are now on the screen. So that's something I learned. I thought now on tap when I heard about it and they were explaining, I thought it like literally searched the entire page you were on, but instead it just searches what you're seeing on the page, which is still cool. I mean, and obviously this is new. So, I mean, there's gonna be some things that still work out. It doesn't always pick up information to show you or may show you things every now and then that's unrelated but you know for a start I mean it's, it's 
pretty good feature. I mean, I like it. I could see how it could come in handy for, um, let's see, let's try the text here. See, this is news feed. Let's see what it pulls up here. I haven't tried it in text messaging yet. So, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali Center, Frankfurt Police Department, and sorry. So, there you see, Frankfurt Police Department, and and see anything oh yeah there's Muhammad Ali so I mean it, it found a couple of things in here I mean it didn't find everything but you know it's a pretty good feature I mean if you were texting with someone a person and you know I mentioned a restaurant let's meet up at blah 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 or stop by my house here's my address you know it would look up that address and give you the option to you know go to maps or find that restaurant information phone number on it I haven't really tried that yet but that's what it's supposed to do um, outside that um, I mean I, I like it I think mean, I think for the Moto X pure I mean it wasn't that it was a slow running on lollipop or anything but you know I can actually kind of feel more smooth running and speed with it on marshmallow now it could be a placebo just because it's new and you know it is a fresh install of this you know I basically you know, wiped everything and then installed this to try it out so I mean if there was any gunk before on lollipop it was cleared up when I installed this so take that as you will but I personally feel it's a lot smoother I've had really no issues with speed I mean like I say every now and then you'll hit an app that may have some stutter in it like the ESPN app here as an example I mean obviously this updates scores like pretty much constantly so you have to expect that there'd be some stutter here because it has to constantly update so it can't just cache all this information but if you go over here to like news, and it has to load these pictures. I mean, it stutters on this, but I mean, this is a a lot of information here. A lot of, but as you can see, I mean, it does load the pictures like fast. And once they're loaded, I mean, there's not a lot of stutter. So, I mean, I can't really complain about that. As uh, time goes on, I'm sure these will... Um, speed up and I'll update the apps for to better optimize marshmallow and things will be back to normal um, so yeah I mean that's that's it I have um, Moto 360 smartwatch connected to this so I mean that kind of takes care of the security on this for me that's what I use I think I mentioned before I set this for uh, smart lock and I use this as a trusted device so anytime I lock the phone and unlock it it unlocks freely as long as I have my watch on or I'm in with within range of the watch so yeah there you have it this is the Moto X Pure Edition the US version it's called Style in other places but this is the Pure version running Android 6.0 Marshmallow um, if you're an owner of this phone I think you're really gonna like Marshmallow and I'm sure you can't wait to get your update so just a little note this is my first video for my new channel so I really hope if you do like this video that you hit the like button to help me out and get me started because everyone has to start somewhere and if you really want to help me hit the subscribe button and I'm gonna try to be as diligent as I can with putting out videos once a week twice a week as many as I can get out about anything I find interesting that I want to pass on to you guys or just talk about uh, hit me up in the comments and peace out